how to rank high on underground shadow exploration. In stage 3 of this event, I found myself rank 1, and I wasn't planning to stop, especially as a free to play who spent absolutely nothing. Ranking high on underground shadow exploration can help you get all the samples you need for this event. If you like HQ skins, keep watching this video. This is an advanced guide, and what I'm about to teach you isn't really available in other videos, or at least not properly. And no, I'm not simply talking about this trick. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of this video. Abgari Poland has now two offers for State of Survivals. There are two weekends with Abgaris today. The first one you should be familiar with which is pay safe cards and in this one you can get 20% points back in pay safe cards or Huawei points if you're not in Poland. This is a small summary of what it's like. And if you're outside Poland you can just press this button here and you will get them as Huawei points. Now for the other weekends with App Gallery, it's going to stay longer and it's not just these 4 games. It also works for State of Survival and you can claim these coupons which are typically 15% back. Again, all you have to do is click this and you will see these coupons in game. You can claim these coupons every day. So these 15% coupons are going to be available the next day. What a great time to be with Abgari Poland, everyone. Thank you, Abgari Poland, for sponsoring this video, and this is really amazing for Sailor Survival players. Let's get back to the video. Now, before you even think of ranking high, I assume you know the following things. One, you have probably done your Mego or Amethyst building machines. For each level, you want these machines to be level 5. At least level 5. Two, make sure you know when your underground shadow exploration begins, and you can find that on your calendar. Once you do that, you wanna set an alarm for zero UTC before the event starts. You will begin with 200 samples or 300 samples, I don't even know, they keep changing this. This will officially launch the process of underground shadow exploration for your account and you will start earning research points and oxygen. The more damage you do, the more samples you get which you need to rank high. So your goal is getting as much as samples as you can. And finally, to like and subscribe for free samples. Let's begin. This is day one of Underground Shadow Exploration for me. We only have this one floor unlocked. My first piece of advice is to ignore day one. You do not want to waste your samples on these tiles. Currently I'm at day three of the event and we're at level 13 currently. Now at this point you should have done some attacks. But keep in mind, you must never empty your oxygen. Now I'm halfway to my oxygen because I'm about to sleep and I don't want oxygen recovery to stop while I'm asleep. Now, there's a lot of reasons for you to wait till the last day to attack and go crazy. And that's do the most damage you can do. Now, why does waiting give you more damage? For a whole lot of reasons. One, you would have captured a lot of these and these as well as these. And when you do that, you should receive mail, which will improve your research and some cell samples. On the last days of the event, you should also be collecting these. And only go for them if you have a 60% chance or above, just to be safe. When you build up your research, and especially on Wise, for example, you're gonna be getting discounts on your oxygen. The discount one, I think, is on Visionary. Like I said, Visionary for the oxygen tanks and Wise to get cheaper items in the store. But obviously, this is your priority. 
you wanna almost always go for visionary and sell sample research, even if sometimes you're trading for legendary. Now as day 3, what should you attack? Which tells should you attack? Should you do explorer? As a free to play, absolutely not. Because explorer depends on your stats and if you're free to play, you're not gonna get many samples. Keep in mind that the more samples you get, the more you rank higher on the leaderboard. Now, what's next? This is a Toxic Mist. For free to play, the Toxic Mists will give you the highest rewards. So you should not do Explore and other things. You just want to attack Toxic Mists and preferably the more you wait, the more you unlock at these. If you attack infected with these, you'll get even more samples, which you would not be able to get if you attack early in the game. That's another reason to wait. The reason I'm telling you to save up your oxygen and not spend it all at once is because I want you to attack the targets that have these. I found some toxic mists that have 8 or 9 of those infected features with an axe on them. Obviously, the more axes you have, the more damage you will do, and you can't do that early game. So the more axes, the more lethality buffs you're getting from these, the more damage you do, the more samples you get. Now, what's next? If you look closely, I get 705 samples, but when I make it 0 HP, I'm gonna get a whole lot more. In this case, I got 773 samples. There also used to be this trick where you when you spam raid mods, I tried testing this many times and I saw no difference. I checked the leaderboards also, it seems nobody had a huge amount of score. It seems this was patched. As a free to play I could easily make top 20 to 30. But that took a lot of... If you're a spender or an average spender, you can absolutely do better than me. I also do recommend you buy this $1 pack, even if you normally don't spend or don't like spending. And do it the last day of the event. Use the oxygen only on the last day for the reasons I explained before. It will increase your rank a lot. Good luck everyone, and feel free to ask me anything.